Hey everybody, today we are talking about the Red Wing Postman, the Red Wing 101. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. Today we're talking about the Red Wing Postman Oxford, uh, the Red Wing 101 in black chaparral leather. And today I'm wearing the 3341 uh, blacksmith in the charcoal rough and tough. So uh, boom, let's get into it. Let's check out this boot. <laughs> let's check out this Oxford. Uh, let's take a closer look. <laughs> Okay, here we have the Red Wing Postman Oxford, the Red Wing 101, and the leather is called Black Chaparral Leather, and the outsole is a black cushion crepe wedge sole, so this is the same sole that the Rovers have, but this is in black. The insole is leather, and we have a Goodyear welt, and then uh, this is made on the 210 last, and there's no shank. So, in the this boot is a nine and i wore this uh for about two hours um, i would probably go a nine and a half i felt my toe was at the edge by the end of maybe of those hours actually as soon as i put it on it felt snug but i was like oh maybe my feet are just a little swollen um and i walked around the city um shooting some um postage stuff for this video, <laughs> postal stuff for this video. And at the end, I was like, I need to get these boots off right away. Or these, sorry, <laughs> ah! I need to get these shoes off right away. So I think I would probably go a half size bigger on the 210 last, so I'd probably go a nine and a half on the 210 last. And so there is, the tongue on this is not gusseted. It's a loose tongue. It's not leather lined. I believe there's canvas at the toe and we have, um, a leather uh, leather sole here and then the most uh, important part to make this the real deal the legit deal is this green tag according to a postal worker I ran into uh, in the street so um, yeah these are uh, these are cool the other thing is walking around I felt a little bit here there was kind of there was some I think if they were brand new this would be bothersome on my ankle but since these are uh, already broken in uh, these belong to uh, Joe at uh, Red Wing Heritage grown and sewn so um, I these are on loan and I got to uh, to wear these so they are already broken in but I think if I were to have these brand spanking new this would have been uh, an issue here but uh, they are they're actually pretty heavy um, compared to I guess an, another Oxford I feel these are quite heavy, but these are, they're very nice. And there's no triple stitch on the Postman 101. Only double stitch. I like the black cushion crepe sole and I was kind of thinking, what could I put that on? Do I have any boots that I can actually put the black cushion crepe sole? Maybe I can take my rovers, my black rovers and put on a black cushion crepe. I wonder how that would look, but I do like the, the uh, black cushion crepe. So as I was walking back from shooting the truck, I actually ran into a postal worker and I asked her what she thought of my shoes and she said she had a bit of an attitude. She's like, you know, typical New York woman, very yeah, had her guard up and was like, are you recording me? What do you think I was like, no, I'm not recording you. Um, and I said, what do you think of my shoes? And she was kind of like, why? And I was like, well, these are the Red Wing Postmen and postal workers are supposed to wear these. And she kind of looked at them. She's like, oh yeah, you're right. They have the green tag. Every postal worker has to have the black shoe with the green tag. I was like, and I asked her, I said, what are you wearing? And you guys are required to wear like black shoes? No. Oh, you actually required to wear these? Are you serious? Well, because they have the green tag. Yeah. Our sneakers are supposed to have the green tag, our sneakers the green tag. No way, but do they give you guys like... An allowance. Oh, they do? Every year. And she said, I'm wearing New Balance sneakers. I was like, oh, okay. She's like, but... Um, Basically, the gist of the conversation was if they get hurt and they're on the job and they come out and they're not wearing these shoes with the with the green tag, 
then they cannot get basically workers comp or they can even get fired um, for not having these shoes on and she was saying that the old timers uh, the um, older postal workers swear by these shoes um, and but for her she was kind of like it's not really my thing uh, she said that um, they get around three hundred dollars in change a year for shoes um, and that, I think these are kind of these um, Oxfords, these these uh, postmans are around two hundred and something dollars, so that would uh, cover their um, that uh, money that they're given. And um, she was saying what they do because I said the leather is quite thick and it's pretty uh, tough to break in. She said, "Yeah, she said until you get them wet, they're tough." And I guess that's their trick is that they they get these shoes wet. I don't know how if they soak them or they just wear them out in the rain. Um, but I guess that helps the leather stretch for them. Um, but uh, she was like, I'm not really into them. <laughs> she was saying, she's like, but um, she's like, they look nice on you. Um, and uh, she, and the other guy, so there was another guy, sorry, um, a postal worker, and he had on, I think they were like, just like black um, high top sneakers, kind of like um, military looking sneaker. Um, and so maybe three postal workers I saw in passing while shooting this, none of them were wearing this. The only people I've seen uh, were um, uh, 911 dispatch operators. I saw them wearing something kind of similar to these. But uh, it was interesting speaking to an actual postal worker um, about the shoes that I was wearing and how she was like, why do you have these on? <laughs> but um, I thought that was uh, kind of nice to have like an actual conversation with someone about them. All right, let's do the on feet. So I wanted to show how I would actually style these if I wore them. Uh, I have a navy trouser with a chambray shirt and a navy cardigan. And I would say the shoes, um, although the leather is stiff, these have already been broken in um, because these belong to uh, Joe at uh, Grown and Sewn Red Wing. The leather, I can tell, like if I were to start off with these brand new, the leather is stiff and it would take some time to break in. But they are comfortable. These, I honestly would need a half size bigger because uh, I wore these for maybe about two hours and my toe was rubbing the the top of those so I would I would probably need a nine and a half definitely for these I think I would prefer the boot version of these than the Oxford I think these are perfect for anyone who is working in the field and needs to wear a uniform so that is the Red Wing Postman Oxford the Red Wing 101 thank you so much for watching and remember be an Oxford? Be a boot. <laughs> be a boot sounds better than be an Oxford. <laughs> uh, be a beer. So that is the Red Wing Postman Oxford, the Red Wing 101. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, remember. Be a boot? <laughs> Does it work? <laughs> uh... So that is the Red Wing Postman Oxford, the Red Wing uh, 101. Thank you so much for watching and uh, remember, close your ears, be a boot. <laughs>